Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video the like up today on Days of Our Lives, Sander and Sarah present their evidence to Rafe. Everett makes a plea to Stephanie. Rafe stuns Jada and Wendy can't get past what happened. Please note that if you purchase something by clicking on a link within this story, we may receive a small commission of the sale. At home, Trip assures a despondent Wendy that she will move past the trauma of what happened to them. She recounts her recurring dream of banging on the tank, screaming for help, but no one comes. She hears him shouting in his sleep too. He suggests they enjoy a frivolous date night to rewire their brains with happier thoughts. At the pub, Everett tells Stephanie that he saw himself while under hypnosis. It was a version of himself smiling, and it frightened him. He didn't tell Marlena because he just wanted to be somewhere familiar and nurse a drink. In his office, Rafe makes plans to meet Jada at the pub. As she leaves, he answers his phone and exclaims, What? He asks the person to send him the scans and hangs up. Damn, he says to himself. This is going to get ugly. When Sarah comes home, Xander excitedly shows her surveillance photos of Harris's shooter. In the video, the shooter is wearing expensive designer workout pants, while Xander's pants are generic brand. The difference can be seen in the width of the stripe. Xander declares he finally has proof of his innocence. She gives him a hard kiss and then hurries him out to show the police. Ava cooks for Harris at the closed bistro and pours from their most expensive wine bottle. She tells him how beside herself she was when he was in the hospital. She thought she was going to lose the strongest, kindest, most loyal person she has ever known. Being loved by him makes her think that maybe she is okay if he wants to be with her. You're not just okay, he says, you're everything I want. After ordering food at home, Trip brings out Jenga for him and Wendy to play. However, she's distracted, wondering if he proposed in the beer tank because the low oxygen levels impaired his decision-making abilities. Is that the reason we got married? He muses it's because their inhibitions were lowered, but he doesn't regret anything he said. He realized more than ever how much he loved her. She loves him too, but she feels like they jumped over a few steps. Xander and Sarah bring a pair of his running pants to Rafe in his office. Sarah points out the differences in the stripes. Rafe admits it could be good news for Xander. They'll get on it in the morning. Upon entering the pub, Jada snarks over how cozy Stephanie and Everett appear. Stephanie defensively tells her that Marlena just hypnotized Everett. When Jada inquires, he says he saw himself smiling. She chuckles, calling it grade A, narcissistic Bobby B.S. Stephanie bristles, but Everett understands Jada's skepticism. He vows he's only told Jada the truth since they met in the pub on Valentine's Day. She remains dismissive. He declares not remembering being married to her is agony. Stephanie asks her to have some compassion and support him instead of condemning him. Jada will pass. He's all yours, Steph. At their kitchen table, Wendy and Tripp share stories about their past relationships, which led them to this moment. Tripp is grateful for that and says if their love is real, it will last. He suggests they forget about the marriage proposal and go back to the steps they missed. She agrees. He asks her to go on a date right there and now. Upon finishing the best meal Harris has ever had, he pulls Ava into a dance. As they lightly sway, wrapped in each other's arms, Harris asks when Ava is going to reopen the restaurant. She's not. I am done with the bistro. Harris asks what she'll do instead. Ava will figure it out and find a legit job. I'd never going back to that life, she vows. Upon entering the pub, Jada snarks over how cozy Stephanie and Everett appear. Stephanie defensively tells her that Marlena just hypnotized Everett. When Jada inquires, he says he saw himself smiling. She chuckles, calling it grade A, narcissistic Bobby B.S. Stephanie bristles, but Everett understands Jada's skepticism. He vows he's only told Jada the truth since they met in the pub on Valentine's Day. She remains dismissive. He declares not remembering being married to her is agony. Stephanie asks her to have some compassion and support him instead of condemning him. Jada will pass. He's all yours, Steph. At their kitchen table, Wendy and Tripp share stories about their past relationships, which led them to this moment.
Trip is grateful for that and says if their love is real, it will last. He suggests they forget about the marriage proposal and go back to the steps they missed. She agrees. He asks her to go on a date right there and now. Upon finishing the best meal Harris has ever had, he pulls Ava into a dance. As they lightly sway, wrapped in each other's arms, Harris asks when Ava is going to reopen the restaurant. She's not. I am done with the bistro. Harris asks what she'll do instead. Ava will figure it out and find a legit job. I'd never going back to that life, she vows. Upon coming home, Sander and Sarah revel in Rafe believing them. Sander tells her how much it means to him that she's believed him all along. After Sarah puts Victoria to bed, they marvel over their daughter who brought them back together. Trip pours beer into the steens Joey got them, but the smell triggers Wendy. She can't stop seeing them in the beer tank and the feeling of not being able to breathe. Hyperventilating, she knocks over the Jenga tower. Upon calming down, she apologizes. Trip assures her there's no need. In fact, he's the one who is sorry for thinking distraction would do them some good. At their table in the pub, Everett tells Stephanie he loves her and believes they can get through this. She's everything to him. Meanwhile, Ray finds Jada at the bar. She suggests they go back to his place. But he has news first. A lawyer friend of his in Seattle did some digging and discovered her divorce papers were never properly filed. She is still legally Mrs. Robert Stain. 